Bahamas, this is me Sharon and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to make this African flower. I have seen some projects in which you can use this to make as bags or even as a stuffed toy. So I hope you stay tuned and watch until the end of this video. For this kind of project, you will need different kinds of yarn. In here, I'm gonna use four colors of yarn and you can use whatever color of yarns you want. I'm using a yarn that is similar to a medium weight. You also need scissors, a blunt needle if you have one, and a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. All right, so let's get started. So to start, we're going to make a slip knot. stitch into the first chain made and now chain three work one double crochet Repeat until you have 12 double crochets and chain one after every two double crochets. Okay, so to end the round, you're going to work a slip stitch, but before that, make sure to chain one, and then one, two, three, and work a slip stitch. So the next step is I'm going to use a different color and into the chain one space we're going to work chain three one double crochet chain one two double crochet So into every chain one space, you're gonna work two double crochets, chain one and two double crochet. And you're going to repeat that into every chain one space around. So to end the round, you're going to work a slip stitch on top of the third beginning chain. To start round three, we're going to slip stitch until we get to the chain one space. 
so this is my second slip stitch and into the chain one space and then to start round three we're going to chain three and then we're gonna work six more double crochets into every chain one space so in this round into every chain one space you're gonna work seven double crochets Now to end this round, you're going to work a slip stitch on top of the beginning third chain. And then we're going to switch off to a new color. So we're going to chain one and then pass enough and cut up the yarn. So now I'm using a different color of yarn and I'm gonna start working into the first double crochet of the seven double crochet cluster chain one one single crochet now into each of the next six double crochets you're gonna work one single crochet into each now remember in round four you should have seven double crochets so that in this round you're gonna have a total of seven single crochets. So one single crochet on top of each double crochet. As you can see, you have seven single crochets in there. Now when you get to the middle of those two clusters, you will go into and between round two of those two double crochet clusters and then work your one double crochet and then you're going to repeat working one single crochet on top of each double crochet work a double crochet in between those clusters of two double crochet on round two and then you're going to repeat this until you get back around now here i'm on my last few stitches and do not forget to work your last double crochet and then after this, work a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made, chain one and fasten off. We're going to use a different color of yarn in the last round. Last round, we're going to use color green and we're gonna start chain three on top of the first double crochet one double crochet into each of the next three stitches i already have one two and three now this will get us to the middle of this petal so into the middle we're gonna work one double crochet chain one and then one more double crochet all into the same stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next three 
stitches. So that will be the sequence for this last round and we're just going to repeat one double crochet on top of each double crochet and then into the next three stitches we're going to work one double crochet into each once you get to the middle of the, this petal you're going to work your one double crochet chain one and one double crochet and then into the next three stitches you're going to work one double crochet into each and you're going to repeat this until you get back around To end the round, work a slip stitch on top of the third beginning chain. Chain one and then fasten off and weave in all the ends. So this is what it looks like after working the five rounds to make up the African flower. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how we can make pouch out of this. So thank you for watching. Have a good day. Thank you for watching guys. If you're new to my channel, you can check back on my previous videos because I made lots of tutorials on how to make bags, purses, and other interesting stuffs. Thank you so much. Bye.